Somebody over here? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I think you've got to divide your sales organization by, let's say, large, medium, and small, you know, enterprise, mid-market, SMB. Um, so uh, equitable distribution of, of prospects has to happen in the cohort, right? Like, it's, it's not the same if you're a junior seller calling on SMB business versus a very senior seller calling on the Fortune 100. But within the cohort, I think, it is all important to, to equitably distribute territory. And so how do you do that? I mean, I think the first thing that you, can under, that you wanna do is, is you wanna understand total addressable market. So if you look at sort of the enterprise and the companies that are likeliest to buy, what is the total addressable market inside that one company, right? What do you, what's your first sale and how many additional sales might you have inside that company after that first sale is made? And what is the approximate close rate for your sellers going after businesses like that, right? So you're with me so far? Okay, so now you understand the total addressable market. So let's say, for instance, our average deal size is $100,000. The total addressable market by client is a million dollars, right? So now you've got $900,000 worth of growth opportunity inside an existing client. Uh, and then you know there's a close rate of, I don't know, 20% uh, across the prospect universe uh, in terms of enterprise. And so you multiply that number out across all of the companies that you have your enterprise cohort going after, and you begin to div divide up the number of companies with that mathematical equation. So everyone gets the equal amount of total addressable market instead of the equal number of companies. Does that make sense? Yeah, well, based on my own personal experience, I don't believe that vertical selling has worked that well. That said, I do believe that doing, getting smart on the industries that you're calling into is a really important part of the sales process. And so without understanding your product and whether it's best fit for the health care industry versus CPG versus financial services, I can't really say for you, and I think for every company it's slightly different, because that to some extent determines how fair the distribution of prospects may be, right? I guess the, the perspective that I was taking is that your product can be sold into any industry. And if your product can be sold into any industry, then you can equitably distribute a, a total addressable market across your sales force without worrying that this person has all the great accounts because they're focused on healthcare or they're in New York. Does that make sense? So I, I think to some extent you need a little bit of both. Right, I mean, you have to understand whether or not your product is best fit for one particular vertical, and if so, are you giving that one vertical to somebody in greater numbers than somebody else? 